did pick a bit, and the options were the weird tool Amy's using in the dating world from Amy. Eddie had a way lunchbox to keep his car running longer. Lunchbox was, lunchbox almost lost his family and almost spent the rest of his life in prison. Quite dramatic. And then Ray put cops on my doorstep. There was a cop that flashed his badge on Ray's door. That one sounds good. We voted before the break, and Amy was the winner here. The weird tool Amy is using in the dating world. Pick a bit, Amy. Well, so the tool is chat GPT. So you went to AI to ask how to reject someone. Yeah, from on that asked me out on a date. And cause date I, or, kindly. But not app. I wanted to find, it was just communication, text? texting. We, we moved from the app to text. Got and it. We were texting and then I just decided. Wow, oh. so you moved him to text and then rejected him? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm what happened, what happened I need to call. Really? I need to kindly. What was his first text to you? Hi. I just. <laughs> you must move to text real fast. Look at this picture of this. I just. Go ahead. Realized. Okay, so I, I want to. I haven't. I'm just not. Uh, I don't do this. I've never right. done this before. Right. And I thought, well, let me ask ChatGPT. And it gave me a response that. Because I ended up replying a little bit late. Um, so I said, thanks for your patience. Read it exactly as you wrote it. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your patience. It's been a crazy week. Hope yours has been good. In the name of full transparency, I'm not feeling enough of a connection to pursue this further, even though you're awesome. Wish you the best of luck. <laughs> yeah, that sounds fake. I would have so uh, it it was, it was I would have never judging. said even though you're awesome. I mean. I'm, I know. And who says in the name of transparency? I, right, exactly. Chat GPT. <laughs> a robot does. Ch I know. I just typed it in. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I said, "What'd you get?" Uh, it doesn't say. It even. should be the same thing, huh? No, not always. Depends on the. Hey there. I've got a really great feeling about us too. Okay, ready? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm picking the voice for my person. Okay. Hey, I want to thank you for reaching out and showing interest. I've really enjoyed our conversations, but I don't think we're quite right as far as romantically speaking. I hope you understand, and I wish you all the best in your search for someone who's a perfect fit for you. <laughs> That's all so fake. Yeah. But what would you say? See? Uh, well, I mean, you could just you put just in your like, own words. Hey, uh, you I'm know what? I'm going to do this one. How do I tell my friend Eddie that he needs to shave his head <gasps> and go fully bald instead of wearing a hat to cover a small amount of... Of okay, hair. okay, you don't have to be so detailed about it. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see here. Eddie. Yeah, go ahead. Talk I to wanted to talk to you about something because I care about you. Okay. Have you ever considered shaving your head completely? I mean, I think it could really suit you and boost your confidence even more than wearing a hat. Just a thought, but I'm here to support whatever decision you make. Wow. Well, that sounds real. That That's one good. sounds real. That's you want good. another one? How do I tell Lunchbox to not fart in the studio we all work in kindly okay. hey lunchbox yep hope you're doing well buddy i wanted to bring something up that might <laughs> be a bit awkward Oof. so uh, it's important for maintaining a comfortable environment here in the studio i've noticed some occasional gas <laughs> and while it is completely natural it can be a bit distracting for everyone would you mind being a little mindful when we're working together i appreciate you understanding Gosh, oh my god that's pretty good like, that's really good. I'm, and so quick. I'm only going to use this to communicate with people from now on. Yeah. That's good. Think about how long it would take for you to be like, all right, how do I not insult Lunchbox? Like, how do I say this nicely? That's That was so quick. I just don't have that filter. I usually just say it. Yeah, stop farting in the yeah, studio, stop dude. farting and making this all <laughs> There you go. Dude, you look stupid with a hat. Just shave your head already. Can I just ask Amy why you decided not to go out with this guy after you moved him? Because usually when you get moved from app to text, that's like oh, time yeah. to go on a I date. also learned I won't do that 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 again. <laughs> So fast. <laughs> I'm do, learning. Do, was your opening message just your phone number? <laughs> I'm learning. No. Okay. Not at all. But what about him? I could just tell it's not going to be. I could you not tell in the app? Oh, oh, you. Oh. Yeah, I was telling you Googled them. You didn't do that. In the but you can't Google when they're in the app because you don't know anything about. You only know their first name. You can't oh, you can find out. Mm, oh, well, I had a difficult time. You don't know their last name in the app? Nope. Oh. But you can find it, don't you think, Morgan? Not always. Yeah, it's, there are some that are difficult, but more often than not, I can find them. There was that Face Finder website that my friend told me about. Well, that sounds creepy. But I just wasn't, whenever I would enter their faces, I wasn't able to get a match. <laughs> Tell them that. Hey, I entered your face in this app, and I can't find you. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for sharing that with us. Yeah. And we learned about ChatGPT. That's welcome. cool, man. This is a Bobby Bones show. Hey.